Everyone. 
just wasn't interested. I kind of looked at it and I didn't like the way that it looked. It did look kind of like very oily and shiny in the little pan that it kind of came in because it's like a compact. It's like a cream. They call it a bomb, but I would say it's like a cream foundation. It also gave me very similar vibes to the Maybelline Dream Mousse, but it wasn't a mousse. Um, and the color didn't always turn orange, but yeah, I just never wanted to try it. And it has nothing, actually nothing to do with it being like a KVD product. I just like didn't love the way it was looking on people's skin. And I thought that it was overhyped. I was like, why are we so like obsessed with this random balm foundation? I don't know. It, but it didn't, I didn't like it. I was not attracted to the product, basically. And I'm like secretly wondering, did KVD Beauty like pay a bunch of TikTokers to use this foundation? I believe Michaela tried it and she was like, it's good. But it's just good. Like it wasn't mind blowing because I've never really seen her use it again. Anyway, that foundation, I just never, I was like, why is this, why is this happening? <laughs> In my opinion, anyway. So, yeah. Next on the list, we're almost done. We have one, two, three, four left. Five left. Five left. Next on the list is just Max Fix Plus. Mac Fix Plus. Um, I, this product has been around for years. Years and years and years. It's a, it's a, it's a staple. It's an OG. Like, she deserves her shining moment. I'm not saying that she doesn't. I just Especially when, in my opinion, um, like, my Mario Badescu spray does a very similar thing. I don't know. I just don't think I would, like, put it in my cart. I think there's different sprays that I would buy over it. But I'm not saying I wouldn't try it. Like, I'm not being like, I hate this. I would never try it. I'm just, I was thinking about it and I was like, that's something I've never tried. But I've never just, I've never wanted to buy it. For some reason, I don't know, I just like, am not drawn to it. I know it exists and I know a lot of people love it. And I honestly love the sound of the spraying. It, I think it's a good ASMR sound actually, like I love that sound, but I'm just like not interested in purchasing it. And that's that. I don't really have anything bad to say. I'm just like very neutral about the product. So I'm like not interested in trying it. I mean, I would try it if the opportunity presented itself, but I wouldn't spend the money personally. I don't think, like, I would want to try my friends, but none of my friends have it. <laughs> like, if one of my friends was like, here, try the neck Mac Fix Plus, I would try it, and then therefore I would be able to form an opinion, but I wouldn't form an opinion, like, go out of my way to form my opinion, does my making sense? Next on the list is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I feel like this, that was a controversial sentence that I just... But the only reason that I wouldn't buy it is because it's a shimmery blush. It has a lot of shimmer in it. And I just don't do shimmery blushes. If it was a matte blush in the same color, I would be all over it. But yeah, it's just shimmery. So I would never buy it for that purpose. Because I'm oily. And when I... Usually I feel like people that are more oily have bigger pores here. So if I use like a shimmery blush in this area, it'll just stick to my pores and it won't look good. Especially as the day progresses. It'll probably look okay. Like, it won't look horrible when I first did it. But as the day would go on, it would just not be, it would not be the look. Okay, up next is any Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. First of all, the price is outrageous. And second of all, I have just never been drawn to any of the color stories in any of the palettes. I know what they look like, and I've just, I've never been wowed, and like, never been like, that is stunning, I need it, and I've watched quite a few videos of people like, using them, talking, and like, raving about them, but I've just never found one that looks stunning enough for me to purchase, and that kind of makes me sad. I know people love Natasha Denona as a brand, but I've just always been really meh about the colors and the packaging and that kind of thing. And in my head, I'm like, well, it's really expensive and you don't like love it. You're not in love with what it looks like, so don't buy it, basically. I'm very good at talking myself down from purchasing things, especially in the form of peer pressure. Like if people, like everyone is using something, but I don't think like I'm going to love it. I won't buy it. I won't buy it. 